Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and I post videos all about beauty, luxury, lifestyle, hauls. So if you're into those types of things, then definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And in today's video, I'm doing another Abercrombie haul. I have done a few of these on my channel before. I will link them below in case you're interested. But I did pick up a few things, so I'm going to be telling you my thoughts on them, letting you know which items I'm keeping, which items I might return, and I'll also be showing you modeling shots of each item so you can get a feel for how they fit on me. I am five foot two, and I'm typically about a size four in Abercrombie bottoms, pretty much standard across the board. And then I also vary between an extra small and a small in most of their tops. So let's just go ahead and jump on into the video. All right, so I'm gonna be basically inserting clips of me trying on these items as well as talking about my thoughts on them. So first is this black shirt. This is the relaxed tee. I do have this that I featured in my previous Abercrombie haul. I have it in a beige color. I absolutely love this top. It feels so comfortable. It's not tight or anything. It is called the relaxed tee for a reason and I just absolutely love it. So I did pick it up in this black color and I also picked it up in white. I figured it would be handy to have it in, you know, every color. I tend to do that with Abercrombie items. Once I find a top that I like, I buy it in like every color that I like. So just to give you um, an idea, I did get this in a small. My beige one's a small, this and this, they're all smalls. And I went with small versus extra small because I did want it to have more of that relaxed fit. I do think that I could have fit an extra small, no problem but I just think that the extra small might have been a little bit tighter versus that relaxed look. So this does retail for $19. However, I did get these items on sale, I believe after the discount at the time, it was like $9 a piece. That is my biggest tip for Abercrombie is just wait for a sale. And right now because of the holidays, they're having tons of good sales. So really, I rarely ever pay full price for an item. So that is these two things. All right, so this, this next item is another item that I had picked up in a different color in my last Abercrombie haul, and this is the long sleeve drapey ribbed tee. I did pick this one up in a small, and to be honest with you, I don't think an extra small would have fit me personally, at least not the way I liked. This is a bit of a tighter fit, and that is why I opted to go with a small versus an extra small. That is typically how I figure out my sizing. I just kind of go based on whether it's a tighter fit or looser fit and then I will either size up or down depending on what it is. If it's a loose fit then I typically size down to an extra small because I don't want it to be too baggy and then if it is a tighter fit like this one is then I went with the small. So I really like this that I, I have this in a beige color and I love it and so I decided to pick it up in this nice blue color. I kind of wanted to add like a pop of some kind of color into my wardrobe because most of my items are all beiges, black, white, with a few hints of red, but this color is just really pretty and I think it's gonna be great for the fall season. Highly recommend this top. It does retail for $29, however, I paid, I ended up paying $18.99 for it. So as you see, I ended up getting it for like $10 off, and the sale that I had got at the time, it wasn't even one of their best sales that I've seen. So definitely keep your lookout for that. By the way, I will have everything that is still available linked down below. I did place this order back on like November 10th and after a bunch of shipping delays, I finally ended up receiving it and it is now literally almost the end of November. So I'm not sure if all of these items will still be available, but I will link anything that is. The next item I got was this boyfriend tee in this like very light, pretty greeny color. Now I did get this in a, oh, I did get this in an extra small. I thought I picked it up in a small. So I did get this in an extra small and as you can see from the modeling shots, it is definitely baggier, looser on me, but it is a boyfriend tee and that is typically how a boyfriend tee is supposed to look. It's supposed to be more like flowy and loose fitting and I think this would look really cute with like a pair of black leggings. I even wear these relaxed tees with just black leggings and I think it's really cute 
outfit it's cozy so i think this is going to be super cozy to wear as well and i really like this color it's still to me almost like a neutrally tone but it is a color it is green i definitely can't say i have anything this color in my wardrobe already so this retails for 25 dollars and I paid 18. So again, not a huge discount, but still was a little bit of a discount. And it is really soft. It's just all of Abercrombie's clothes really do feel nice. They feel high quality. Nothing is ever too uncomfortable. So that is good news. The next item I got, and I actually did pay full price for this, and it was because I was, I was impatient. It is this flannel shirt. Now, I'm not honestly I'm really not sure how I feel about it I did pick it up in a small and I don't think if I would have gotten an extra small I don't think that would have changed my opinion on it for one it is very long and I feel like on me it does look a little it makes me lose shape basically because it's so long and it kind of just is straight down I feel like your body just kind of loses shape in it now i did as you'll see in the modeling clips i did test like tying it up a bit and seeing if that made a difference and i do think i like it tied up even off camera i was messing around with this to see if i could tie it up in a way that i liked and i do think i will go ahead and probably keep it i'm not 100 percent sure i will definitely notate it in the description box if i decide to return or keep this it does feel very nice quality and I feel like it would be really nice to have when it's like a cooler, like maybe in the 60s kind of day. And I don't know, it's very pretty and I think it's very good for like Christmas time. But I'm, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if I'm really sold on it yet. So this retails for 59 and I did pay the 59 for it because I didn't want to wait for it to go on sale in case it sold out. Which is funny now that I don't even know if I really like it. <laughs> The next item I got, I did purchase this to go with the flannel because I think when I had walked through Abercrombie one day, I had seen this modeled together. So this is this, it's a black like lace bralette thing. Now what I do like about this, for one, it's like a very nice silky material, but the things I liked about it were that it does have pads, which are removable, and it also has adjustable straps. Most bralettes that I have seen, they don't typically have adjustable straps. So I did pick this up in a size small and it retails for 39 and I paid, I paid 39. This is the other item I paid full price for. These were both new items at the time of me placing my order. And I will say it does actually fit me. I did not really show it in the modeling shots because I feel like it's a little bit on the more revealing side. But the reason I had picked this up because I had seen it modeled together and if you unbutton this like two buttons you can kind of see a little bit of the lace which I thought was kind of cute but I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this either of these items I'm really not sure so again I will definitely let you know down below this did feel pretty comfortable and I was surprised that it fit me because I had tried other bralettes from Abercrombie before and they did not work out for me so I also like that it does have this like thicker band so it might be worth keeping um, especially maybe just for lounge wear but we will see next item I got is this gray hoodie that just says Abercrombie and Fitch on the front I got it in a size small the main reason I got it in a small was because I felt that the extra small might be a little bit too tight in the arms I have run into that before and I since this is a hoodie I wanted it to be a little bit more looser a little bit more comfortable so the retail on this was $49.95 and I paid I paid $29.99 so I saved like 20 bucks on this which is a really great deal for a hoodie as the pockets so I like that zippered and I think it fit really well it was really cozy and I'm really happy with this so I'll definitely be keeping it and then the last two items are two pairs of pants so the first are these light wash um, unfinished hem jeans they are non-ripped they're just solid and they are mid-rise super skinny ankle jean i did get them in a 27 or a 4 and i got them in the long option so sometimes i will go with regular and it's fine but since these were descriptive as an ankle pant i wanted to get them in a long just so they would hit me a little bit lower and these are actually really comfortable i like them a lot they retail for 78 but i paid 
I had paid, I forget exactly what it was and it's not showing up. It's not showing up in my order, but I think I only paid like $24.99. These were on clearance. So these were a definite good buy. I can wear these to work, which is nice and was part of the reason that I picked them up. You know, and I like the unfinished hem at the bottom. It just gives it a little bit something different, I guess. And then the last item were these black ankle ripped jeans. And I know you're not gonna really be able to see much detail right here, but they are ripped. They are mid-rise, super skinny ankle. And I did pick these ones up in a four regular. And these ones I did want to hit me a little bit higher because they have like this different kind of hem and you'll see it in the modeling shot. But I do want to point out that these black jeans do fit me. However, they are definitely a tighter fit than the light wash jeans. And from what I found with Abercrombie black pants is that there is something different about the material. I am a true four across the board at Abercrombie, but for some reason, every time I've tried black pants from them, they either just don't fit me at all or they are much tighter than any other size four that I have from them. And that is the case with these. They do in fact fit me, so that was good because I had picked up a black pair of pants another time and they didn't fit me at all. These ones do fit me, but they are tighter. So I do kind of have to like wiggle around a little bit to get them on and then once they're on they kind of stretch a little bit and then it's fine but I can feel that they are much tighter than these and these are both super skinny ankle jeans they're both the super skinny line so there's definitely something different about the material of the black pants at Abercrombie and I have a couple other pair of black jeans from Abercrombie as well and I believe they are like a jean jegging, and they also fit tighter than any of my other size fours. So just keep that in mind with the black pants. You know, you might it might be hit or miss on as to whether it's actually gonna fit you or not. I don't know what the thing is with these, but if any of you know why the black seems to always fit tighter, definitely let me know because I'm so curious. It's really frustrating when you wanna buy black pants, and for some reason, it always just doesn't fit how it's supposed to. But anyway, I do like these and I am going to keep them because they do fit. I am a little bit nervous that when I wash and dry them, I know you're not supposed to put jeans in the dryer, but I do. I'm a little bit nervous that they might shrink a little bit and then they won't fit well. But yeah, so I'm hoping that they don't shrink too much and that they will fit okay. But anyway, I do really like these and I love the like cut hem. I just, I love it. So Overall, most of these items were a success. The only two items that I'm unsure about, and I will have to let you know, is the flannel and the bralette. I'm just not 100% sure that I wanna keep those, especially considering I paid full price for them. It makes me a little bit more, you know, I paid a lot for them, so I really wanna make sure that I truly do love them. I don't wanna just keep them for the sake of keeping them. I'm really trying to be selective on the items. So if I really do decide that I don't think I'm going to enjoy wearing the flannel or the bralette, then I'm definitely just gonna return them and get my money back. No point in keeping something that's not going to be worn. And that's the thing with buying online, you know? It's hard to judge whether you're gonna actually like something or not. But Abercrombie has a pretty fair return policy, so we are good there if I do decide to return them. So anyway, I hope that this video was enjoyable for you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos like this one. I really love Abercrombie and doing hauls from them, so I'm sure you will see more in the future. And anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.